Hello, welcome to the Oracle Tuxedo Java support demo. In this example, we have an employee management system to add employee information to a database. The services are written in C. We also have an employee payment system where payment information is added to a database. In this system, the logic is performed by a Java program. The difficulties are as follows. Customers need to ensure data consistency between the two systems manually. Second, an operation in one of the systems cannot be rolled back automatically if an operation fails in the other one. What we hope to do is first add an employee and payment information in a global transaction. This means that if one operation fails, the other will be rolled back. We use the Java program logic as a second step. And third, incorporate an existing Tuxedo service call into a Java service. The good news is that Tuxedo 12C now supports Java. Users can migrate Java code from existing programs with little effort. Users can also integrate Java services into the Tuxedo system like other Tuxedo services. And Java services can also be part of global transactions. And conversely, users can invoke existing Tuxedo services from a Java service. Let's take a look at the new solution with Java support. The original interface C service calls tp-begin to start a global transaction. Then it invokes the original add employee information C service to populate a database with employee details. After that, it invokes the add employee payment Java service to add payment information related to the same employee. If all goes well, the interface service calls tp-commit to perform commit of the global transaction. If anything goes wrong, the global transaction is aborted and all the information rolled back. The following is the demo of the new employee management system using the Tuxedo 12C Java support feature. Step 1. Let's take a look at what the Java service looks like and how to integrate it with the Tuxedo application. This is the Java server class. It must extend the Tuxedo Java server class. This is the service method, which takes a TP service info class as a parameter. The first thing to do is to get the context by calling get tux app app context. Employee ID, employee name, and payment information are retrieved from the calling program by way of TP service info. Then the database connection is provided by Tuxedo as opposed to JDBC. And finally, this is the database query. After all work is finished, we call TP return with TP success like this. This is it for the Java service. Step, step two is to add the Java service to the Tuxedo UVB configuration. Let's take a look at it. We need to add a group for the Java server process and configure open info for accessing the database in a global transaction. Then we add the Java server system server to the server section with its configuration file. Let's look at this configuration file. The first part 
is here to specify the classes that this Java service will require. In this case, these are database access classes. Second part is the database configuration for the Java server. In this case, Oracle Database. The last part is the Java application class name and the service it provides. And this is all it takes to add a Java service to a Tuxedo application. In step three, we'll look at how the calling program will invoke this Java service. In this C service, we perform a TP call to the Java service to add employee payment, just as if we were calling another C service. Step 4, we're going to boot up the Tuxedo application. And here, we can see the Java server booted up. Step 5, let's call it. This is the client program. We enter employee ID 1006. Employee name is Sandy. Employee title is manager, and the payment is 1600. Here we can see that the operation is successful. Now let's look, look at the result in the database. Sandy has been added to the employee info table. Corresponding payment has been added to the employee payment table. And this concludes the demonstration. For more information, visit the Tuxedo page on OTN. Thank you.